Yes? Take me to the king. I've seen enough military camps in my day. That I cannot, Witcher. I'm to keep an eye on you, the king's orders. Really want to babysit me? You're right. Let's go. No talking to the prisoner! Greetings. How's it going, lads? I can't feel any bell and feet from all this standing around. Any chance you'll be sending up some replacements? In an hour. Open up the gate. The king wants to see the Witcher. Ah, uh, yeah. Go straight to the royal tent. You can't miss it. I've a few things to take care of. Godspeed, Zivik. I'll be near the main gate if you need me. So long. Ha! A Witcher! The king wants to summon me. Wife's alone in the manor, and I'm stuck here. Nearly everyone hunts you, yet you live in spite of that. Impressive. I find it hard to wean myself off life. As do we all. However, in all my career as an ambassador of His Imperial Majesty, I have never met anyone quite as talented at survival as you. I took the liberty of checking some rumors about you. I'll say it again. Impressive. Are you seeking employment? I was unaware you fellows hired yourselves out for battle. My aim here is different. Really? Perhaps I can be of assistance. What's the Emperor's envoy doing here? Satisfy my curiosity. The last unfortunate conflict left the Northern Kingdoms in pitiful economic condition. His Imperial Majesty desires stability. We wish to offer financial assistance, so I'm visiting those lands hardest hit by the war. Henselt is coping admirably as far as I can see. The details of my visit here are reserved for the Emperor and the Kedweni King. You sure they're that big a secret? I mean, they could be important to me. I can reveal one thing. The Emperor was very moved to hear the White Wolf had returned. He asked me to investigate the matter personally and submit a report. Why do I interest him? He didn't say. His Imperial Majesty keeps his motivations to himself. Voltest was a good king. Shame he ended that way. I've already conveyed the Emperor's condolences to Constable Thomas. Since we're talking about Temeria and Faltest, apparently the Fallen King's advisor, the sorceress Triss Merigold, has disappeared in mysterious circumstances. Rumors abound. Do you know anything about her? Why do you ask, Excellency? I heard the two of you are close. Mages have a natural tendency to disappear into thin air once in a while. Why is anyone concerned? Maybe they wonder if witches locked in dungeons possess the same capacity. You're avoiding the subject, which means it's uncomfortable for you. Have it your way, I shan't press. But I'll ask one more question, if I may. Of course, Your Excellency. I mentioned Triss because, I must admit, I am perturbed. Mages are known for their mutual envy and rivalry. I wonder if there's any matter that could unite them. Perhaps you can be a bit clearer, Excellency. Then I shall ask directly. Do you know anything about Merigold's involvement with an organization of sorceresses? Assuming, of course, that you are, theoretically, or have been, close. Uh, 
I'm not sure why the acquaintances of a sorceress would interest a Nilfgaardian ambassador. Many things interest me. Art, for example. A very interesting statuette was delivered to me today. A peculiar piece. Elusive. Sensuous. It forces one to think. Even a monster slayer might not be indifferent to the beauty entrapped within. Maybe. But I'm afraid I don't have time to admire art. Do you have any other queries? I have some matters to which I must attend. Why are you so interested in this organization of sorceresses? I wonder about some strange coincidences. I'm told several of them were seen in the vicinity when the assassination attempts occurred. What's so suspicious about that? Mages have always thronged around monarchs, the source of power and coin. I'm not accusing anyone. I merely said, it makes me wonder. I saw you with Foltest before. Now you're with Henselt. No doubt you'll visit the King of Redania next. I need not go far. Radovid is en route to Loch Muin. Perhaps he has already arrived. We'll meet there. Loch Muin? An ancient elven city quite a ways away, near the source of the Pontar. Why there? The mages wish to re-establish their council. They sent out invitations to all the kings. I've no bloody idea who you might be, but I hope you're a civilian. Come in, Witcher. I wish you to feel at ease, as this is an unofficial audience. You helped me in the mist, thus I surmise you do not seek my death. Which leads me to ask, what you do seek here, Geralt of Rivia? Peace and quiet, sire. I need to clear my name. Though I tend not to meddle in politics, this time I believe I have no choice. Hmm. You must answer quickly and unequivocally. You must be clear, Witcher. I'm in no mood for excuses hiding behind professional codes and trade secrets. Did you kill Foltest? No. Do you know who did? A Witcher named Letho. Do you know each other? I don't know. I have amnesia. Letho has suggested he knows something about me. It's possible we met before. There's an old kid when he's saying, a bitch will never bite another bitch. A hundred percent accurate where sorceresses are concerned. To the matter at hand, sire. De Tarnaseville claims this Letho is in the area. Is that true? Yes. What does he want here? My head? He's hiding from Yorvith and his Scoia'tael. I don't know his plans. And you aim to get him? I do. Last question. Do you know who had Foltest and Demabend assassinated? Who's behind the Kingslayers? I don't know, but I'll find out when I find Letho. My spies have confirmed your words. I suppose I must believe you. Now to the other matter. The mist, the wraiths, all that magic shit holding up my campaign. My mages, as usual, have proved useless. They blather on about higher magic, delayed curses, and other hogwash, but nothing comes of it. This matter must be settled with a sword, a witcher's sword. Will you manage this task? Yeah, I'll manage. Excellent. Lift the curse, and you'll learn the meaning of royal generosity. And even should you fail to catch this letho, I shall help you clear your name. Consider Deathmold at your disposal. He'll give you all the necessary information. Also, you are free to move about the camp and its environs from now on. Now, leave me alone. As we forged our way through the fog, you claimed it was Glevisig's curse. Sabrina Glevisig's. She was a sorceress, my former advisor. I ordered her bound to a wagon wheel and burned alive. While dying, she cursed me and my lineage. That was three years ago. What did you condemn Sabrina for, sire? Is that important? Sire, we're not talking about a fortune told in a tent on market day, nor about some curse cast by a novice mage. This curse caused a solar eclipse and summoned hordes of specters. 
we're dealing with a complex spell that operates at several levels. Uncommon knowledge and skill were required to cast it. Lifting it will be even more difficult. If I'm going to deal with it, I need you to cooperate. Ah, the plague. So be it. Sire, do you remember the curse itself? What exactly did Sabrina say? All she said at the time has been fulfilled to some degree. A star adorned with a bloody braid will cut across the heavens. Square coins from maritime depths will beguile the hearts of fools. Coins? Deathmole found a few such coins among soldiers accused of treason. The curse was cast three years ago. Any sign it's been active in the interim? My son was killed during a hunt. Anything strange or unnatural occur at the time? A rabid boar ripped open his femoral artery. I witnessed it. An accident, nothing more. The curse was activated today. I need to know why. As we negotiated, a fight broke out. I killed a priest of Creve. Perhaps that... Maybe... The curse was cast. My son was killed during a... Anything strange or unnatural occur at the time? The curse was activated today. I need to know why. As we nego... Maybe... What did you... It... Three... Night... War... What drove Sabrina to attack her own army? Any specific reason? I've heard none. Not even speculation. She was my advisor, a member of the Council of Mages. For years I was forced to tolerate her excesses, schemes, court scandals. Was she loyal? Ha! <laughs> Only to herself. Witcher, a word, if you will. Spoiled my day. You have no idea how delighted I am to work in tandem with you. True, I have no idea. Better times approach, Geralt, you shall see. I trust you're not bothered if I refer to you by name. Not at all. Wonderful, I feel we shall become great friends. That remains to be seen. Shake my hand, Geralt, to mark the beginning of our friendship. Uh, don't worry, I've no poison needle up my sleeve. I believe one can learn much about a man from his handshake. Learned anything? You have the handshake of a warrior. Strong, decisive, dominating. You're the conquering type. The kind women love. I was asking about the curse. Ah, oh, of course. What would you like to know? 
Did you notice that not all the specters were aggressive? Hmm. Most would disappear when we neared them. I think the curse's power corrupts the ghosts of those who died in the battle, turning them into draugers. Draugers? Is that some professional name you witches have for specters? They're demons, Deathmold. Draugers are demons of war that arise on battlefields where the fighting was vicious and the slaughter particularly bloody. They are hatred and bloodlust in condensed form. The name matters little. Do you know how to rid us of these draugers? A silver sword's enough to send them to their rest. But as long as the curse remains active, new ones will appear. The soldiers' ghosts are the key. If we could reverse the tide of the battle... Don't delay. Grab your sword and start reversing. I'll need some symbols of war that belonged to the soldiers who perished here. Artifacts symbolizing hatred, death, courage, and faith. They have to be magically active and linked to those who died. Without them, I won't be able to summon the ghosts. Well, I've no idea how to find them. Apart from which, I know little about war symbolism. I'll deal with the artifacts. I have another job for you. Have you dealt with curses before? I've cast a few in my time. One victim sprouted donkey's ears and a tail, another's house burned down. Nothing too serious. Shame. Have you removed curses, lifted spells? Never had the chance. But I mastered the theory involved. Best in my class at the Magic Academy. They don't teach you about curses like this one at Banard. Glevis's curse is a fourth level blood spell. It's also known as the Archmistress's curse. A misnomer, for they've been cast by generally crazed mages or priests, not necessarily women. You've done your homework. Explain this blood curse to me. An ordinary blood curse is a trivial thing. You let a little of your own blood. Best done at midnight, surrounded by lit candles. Sabrina had a whole pyre around her. Tell me about Glevisig's curse. Read about it for yourself. I have all the necessary literature. In fact, you only need the great encyclopedia of curses, spells and prophecies. And a, a volume compiled by Tessard of Rees and Margarita Loantil, Masters of Magic on Curses Selected Writings. Quite a tone. Are you sure Sabrina cast the curse? Positively. Curses of this kind are cast rarely. There have only been six confirmed cases. How many confirmed cases of their being lifted? One. By a team of mages led by Archmistress Francesca Finderbear, whence came the curse's other appellation. In any case, Sabrina Glevisig was part of that team. Small world, and one that just got a little uglier. That's not all. The curse that Francesca and Sabrina dealt with was meant to end the lives of the last of the Tyson dynasty, the rulers of Kovir. It was cast by Scarlet Rodelega, a very talented but completely mad man. A prophecy and an activator were also involved. I see. Sabrina just stole her curse from this Rodelega. Precisely. Beside which the king himself and a company of armed men witnessed her casting it. Why is Henselt still breathing? He killed the priest. Why didn't he burst like a ripe tomato under a dwarf's heel? Perhaps Glevisig wishes Henselt to wait for imminent death. I don't think so. I know a few sorceresses. They're mean, true, but they also want results. Sabrina cast the curse while roasting at the stake. Not the most comfortable circumstances. I suspect she botched something. Are you suggesting Henselt may be safe? I'm suggesting he could be saved, provided we cut him off from the heart of the curse, the Battle of Spectres. It's the weakest link. How could we do that? I don't know yet, but I suspect I could summon Sabrina's ghost and force her to free Henselt. First, I need to learn the circumstances of her death. We've got our comet and murder. What about the coins? We have those as well. Not enough for you. No. Why do I get the feeling I've stumbled on some shameful secret? A state secret. If you don't tell me, your head of state may soon lose his head. There's a plot afoot within the military. Those involved share a symbol, a square coin adorned with a fish. Let's do this. I shall in no way hinder your investigation, and you will reveal to me anything you learn. Should I happen upon anything related to the curse? You'll let me know. So be it. If I'm not mistaken, you need blood to cast a blood curse. Precisely. Unachievable otherwise. Sabrina was bound to a wagon wheel. Where did she get enough blood? She put a spell on a soldier who gave her a coup de grace. It was easy. The minds of some soldiers are so uncomplicated. Sabrina needed one of them to strike her, shorten her suffering, but complete the curse. 
However, this is where she erred. That whore performed miracles, gathered the power, got the prophecy and activator right, but fell flat on her face on the simplest thing at the end. Don't get so excited. She chose a fool, a bungler. I heard he thrust five times with his spear, yet the witch's soul would not quit her corpse. There was no one guarding the pyre? It was one of the guards the sorceress chose for the task. His comrades were irate. He spoiled the show for them. The king was no longer anywhere near. In any case, blood flowed and the curse took root. Yes, but the harlot got her due. You're gonna help me, Deathmold. Of course, as the king ordered. Listen up. You'll do the paperwork. I get the feeling you like it. I'll need a number of protective rooms to summon Sabrina's ghost. They need to detain the sorceress's ghost and anything else that enters this world with it. Find something for me in your library. The runes need to be easy to produce. I haven't seen any artists around here. Apart from that, the Draugrs are likely to begin their forays in search of Henselt. When they leave the battlefield, they'll grow weaker. Your men should be able to handle them. Just equip them with silver-plated weapons. Henselt could also use something silver to defend himself. Over the entrance to his tent, hang a wreath of sunkfoil and fool's parsley. Inside, a fire fueled by juniper branches must burn at all times. Where will I get so much silver? Melt down your collection of pots for all I care. Just get it. Those aren't pots, they're silver vases of Naziah. Last of all, give Henselt an instructional talk. Explain that I'll need him. And what will you be doing, drinking ale and fondling the camp women? There's that, yes. Though I'll also prepare to summon Sabrina's ghost, and figure out what I need to send the fighting specters back to the afterlife. I'll drop by and give you more work as I learn about this curse. How did you divine that you might recover your memory by lifting the curse? I don't like people poking around in my life. Learning about others is my job. I must know the secrets of all who wish to approach the king. I've no problem admitting I like the work. My past has nothing to do with Henselt. You don't know that. Do you know why I have no friends, Witcher? Because sooner or later I learn all their secrets, which is followed by interrogations, torture, executions. Just leave my past alone. My old mansion. We need to talk. What? No, hello. Good morning. Pucker up and kiss my ass. Nothing. Uh, hello. Good morning, White Wolf. Will you take some tea? It's a fortifying beverage. Some other time, maybe. You must know a lot about the Wild Hunt as one of the reigning majesties among mages. Oh, I simply cannot concern myself with folk tales about corpses flying about on intensely emaciated steeds. The Wild Hunt's no myth. See you. Hello, mother niggers. I've no bloody idea who you might be, but I hope you're a civilian. It won't just disappear. They say only a spell will lift it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
No talking to the prisoner. Know far and wide that the woman known as Saskia. What is it, Witcher? <laughs> Who's this Audrin you're calling out for? A Kedwani god of some sort? <laughs> Audrin a god? If you suggested the god of drinking, I might agree. He's a mate. We agreed to meet at the tavern, but he's gone and got lost. If you find him, tell him we're waiting. How will I know it's him? Oh, you'll know Audrin. <laughs> Nobody quite like that can't. What else am I doing? Aldrin! Here, boy! Where are you? What do you want? I collect old coins. Here in the camp? Are you daft? I heard there are some overseas coins floating around. Square with a fish on them or something. Don't know nothing about that. Fuck off. I'm done with this cursed place. The bloody comet. Square coins. Where that are you? Greetings. As long as they pay us, I'll sit it out. Who do I spy if not the famed? You seem to know me, but I. And you're worse off for that, for I can make you even more famous. You write ballads or something? I've no notion of songs, but the king's vested me with the task of organizing nightly tourneys. A swordmaster like you must be eager to show off his skills. Nightly tournaments are a pastime for real men. Does King Henselt have any interests besides fighting? We value knightly tradition in Kedwin. Only jewels in the arena let a knight stay in good form and hone his skills. Audrey, Still looking for coins! Where are what you? else am I to do? This mist drives me crazy. Audrey, where are you? Audrey. Here, boy! Audrey. Audrey. The enemy have fed you their propaganda. Ah! Well, what if she's truly annoyed? I'm done with this. Audrey! 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 Square coin? Audrey! What do you want? <coughs> Normally I only talk to. Let me buy you a beer. Alright. What do you want to talk about? What do you know about the Virgin of Eden? No one's ploughed her. I'm serious. They say she'd killed a dragon. Those Eternians have gone silly about her. I heard the story about the dragon is true. What of it? That don't mean she should be crowned queen. True, but people follow her. Folks are fools and like freaky things. Saskia's a freak. Maidenhood intact and hunting dragons. Ever heard of a stranger, lass? What do you want? I heard you calling for Audrin. That's right, I'm looking for him, so I called out. Got a problem with that? I used to know a man named Audrin. <coughs> Not that same guy. How do you know? Audrin never deal with your kind. A right and true man, that one. Drinking without him's like plowing without a woman. Why did you go to the beach? During Henselt's last expedition, we stayed in a house there. My unit was on the lookout for Demavan's forces trying to cross the river. I just wanted to recall the old times. So you took part in the campaign three years ago? Took part? I barely escaped with my life. Leva, the brothel medic, saved me. Talk to her if you want to learn more. She knows everything about the camp. What is it? You're young. This your first excursion? Aye. I'm itching for that battle. <laughs> young and zealous. Not afraid? Of who? Short arses led by a lass. We'll thrash him! What do you want? I heard that Sabrina Glebisig was burned at the stake somewhere nearby. 
upon a hill. Folk congregate there to this day. What for? They say it brings luck, but I don't buy that superstitious shite. Watch the fuck out! Oh, hear ye! Hear ye! Still the Royal Highness Tensel, King of Kedwin, Sovereign of Lawmark, etc., etc. Face. Audrey, where are you? What you want? Any idea what Nilfgaardian forces are doing here? Ha, who the hell knows? I reckon they're just absorbing, and nothing good will come of that. Think they've made a deal with Hensel? They've been here weeks, so they must have agreed on something. The camp folk don't like it. Surprised! They have I no bloody idea who you might be, but I hope you're a civilian. What do you want? Be, father. Leave you be. Your life's at stake. Why, your mother would have my head if anything happens to you. No, this is about my honor. And play what mother does to you. I'll practice. I must prepare. Do not disturb. Godspeed. Good luck with whatever. Leave me be, Witcher. I must train. No time. We're not the best around here. Why did they turn out like his mum? Must my devilish blood course through? Mind if I join you? Think I've the right to stop you from taking a free stool? No right, but you might not want company while you drink. And why might you want to drink with me? Always better to talk business over a tankard. Let me buy a round. All the same to me. Getting sad drunk? Mm-hmm. My son's decided to kill himself. He's decided to duel Lieutenant Avid, known as the Butcher of Sidorus. All in all, that makes him a dead man. Lieutenant Avid, who's that? A killer. Plenty of those in the army. No, killing enemies is not the same as slaughtering your own countrymen. The Butcher likes the latter, and he's good at it. The best. They're going to duel to the death? Are you that ignorant? We've been sitting here for weeks. Nothing is happening, and Hensel don't like that, so he's organized some diversions. You mean tournaments? Not like tournaments, more like murders. Mock battles without the mocking. The jewelers really leave the arena on their own two feet. When our unit learned that Six Company was putting forward the Butcher of Sidorus, there were no volunteers, so we drew straws and it fell to Sven. He can't back out. He can, but he won't. I've pleaded, I've begged, but my son's a stubborn one. The pup's got honor. But what good's honor to a corpse? What if I helped you? What kind of question is that? Could I count on you in return? 
Save my son, and there won't be a thing I wouldn't do to aid you. I take that as your vow. Where's Sven? Training in front of the canteen, near the mercenary's tent. You'll know him when you see him. Why did he have to be like me? Stubborn imbecile. Are you moved by the prophet then? Having an Orin and not having an Orin makes two Orins. Cheapskate. I've no bloody idea who you might be, but I hope you're a civilian. Are you Sven? Who's asking? Somebody who just might save your ass. Piss off! I wouldn't play the hero if I were you. You don't know me. I spoke to your father. Ha! I'll wager he told you the sad story of Sven. Who needs to be rescued? I'm no wandering knight, and you're no princess in distress. I promised your father I'd help you. Then go back and ask his pardon for tricking him. Will you feel better when they kill you? I'll certainly feel worse if I cower out. I'm the last one who'd ask you to do that. What will you do? Summon the Butcher and send him out on an urgent mission to deflower the Virgin of Edirn? No, we'll fight as a pair against Latand and his second. Your honor will remain untouched, like a twelve-year-old nun's petal. Why do you wish to help me? I told you, your father asked me. And you courteously agree. Is that so? Yes. You lie. What difference does it make, really? Take care. Are you here? They've killed them of I have no bloody idea. I'm looking for Letan Davit, the butcher of Sidorus. What do you seek? I want to try my luck. Strange. Most shit themselves at the sight of my sword. They say you're equal to a witcher in a fight. They lie. I'm better. We'll see. You'll need to wait. I've a fight lined up already. We could always duel in pairs. I look around and I see the cream of Kedweni Knights. Someone's bound to agree. I am Edwin Lysum, known also as the Petal. If Latond will have me, I'll gladly stand at his side. Why do they call you the Petal? I've no need for one who plows maidens simply for the pleasure of deflaring them. You offend me greatly, Latond. I owe the moniker to the fact that I place flower petals in the mouths of the foes I defeat. I'll be glad to see anything stuffed in the Witcher's mouth. So be it. What's a Witcher doing here? Surely they hired him to take care of the wraiths from the battlefield. And that rebel. Aunt? Has he agreed? Yes. Some whoresome, eh? Unique among them. Ready? Uh-huh. Give me a minute.
Ready? Let's go get him. Most gracious king, noble lords, men at arms, shortly in the arena you shall witness the famed Leton Davit, known also as the Butcher of Sidoris, at whose side shall stand the honorable Edwin the Petal Lisum. Opposing them are Sven of Somewhere and Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. May the gods favor the better men. Begin! Hello. Most gracious king, noble lords, men at arms, shortly in the arena you shall witness the famed Leton Davit, known also as the Butcher of Sidoris, at whose side shall stand the honor. May the gods favor the better men. Begin! Our gracious and merciful ruler, King Henselt, shall generously bestow this upon the young Sven. Heralds will announce these subsequent duels. Long live King Henselt! Long live Kedwin! Thank you. You salvaged my honor. He salvaged that foolish head of yours. I'm a knight now. The king himself will do the honors. You were born in a pigsty where the labor came to your mother 18 springs ago. Nothing will change that. Witcher, I said you could demand what you will, and my word's no worse than a noble's. You demanded payment for helping me? This is between your father and me. Who do you pray for? I can't say. And neither can you, father. An old soldier's word is no handful of hay with which to wipe your arse. I'll have naught to do with this. Go to Madame Carl's brothel and ask for whistling Wendy. The madam will take you to her tent and leave you alone. Wendy will ask what you wish. Tell her you want her smile to open the gates of paradise. Are we even? Yeah. And beware of Vincent Trott. He may be hiding with the conspirators. Dangerous man, that one. Death Mole's looking for him. And if he finds him, we may all end up tasting the executioner's axe. That scoundrel falls into the sorcerer's hands. He'll give us all up to save his own skin. I'll be careful. Trot wears a magic suit of armor. 
He could prove a difficult foe, even for you. Witcher! What? The king is impressed with your skills. He's called on me to organize a tournament. If this goes on, his entire army will be slaughtered before he moves against Edern. This time it'll be a tourney of knights. None of that slaughter for the riffraff to enjoy. The king will reward the winners handsomely. If you're interested, find me by the arena. What do you want? I heard you calling out for Audrin. What of it? Just curious. Half the camp's looking for him. Well, he's gone and got lost. But Audrin's a good man. He can drink six noggins of liquor, one after the other. Wouldn't mind buying him a pint. What does he look like? Ordinary, <laughs> like any soldier. Except he staggers a lot. Still looking for coins. What else am I to do? This mist is driving us free. You got a black cat. Tournaments. Now that's a pastime for real men. All right. The king will be pleased. Just remember, this will not be a fight to the death. I'll try not to forget. Ready? Who will I be fighting? Your opponents will be Gwydion, Rendag, and Boron. Interested to know who they are? Who's Gwydion? One of the top fencers in the Kedwini army. Who's Rendag? A very experienced soldier. He's fought in all of Hensel's campaigns for the past 20 years. Tell me about Boren. Boren's famous for his courage. He fears nothing and no one. Their names are enough. Ready? What are the rules? Two adversaries fight until one of them yields. That's it? The loser is out of the tourney. Ready? I am indeed. Let's begin then. Witcher Geralt of Rivia will now fight the Honorable Gwydion. Witcher Geralt wins! You won. Let me know when you're ready for the next fight. All right. Tournaments. Now that's a pastime for... Can we continue? Ready? I am in. Let's begin. Oh my god! Ah! The Witcher will now take on the Honorable Rendai. Witcher Geralt wins! You won. Let me know when you're ready for the next fight. All right. Oh. Tournaments. Now that's a pastime for real men. Can we... Ready? I am indeed. Geralt of Rivia will now take on the fearless Boron. Yeah! Yeah! 
I yield! Witcher Geralt wins! Is there not a single fucking soul in Kedwin able to beat the Witcher? Dongfield cowards, all of you! Apparently not in Kedwin. But in Temeria, perhaps. I'll give it a shot. <laughs> that could be interesting. If you win, I'll double the reward. The Witcher's challenger this time will be Vess, a maiden serving in an elite unit of the Temerian army. King wanted a spectacle and he got it. A shame the result was so predictable. Witches are not invincible. Seems this one is. But you were brave nonetheless. She fought harder than all the Kedweni soldiers combined. You're very kind. Wasn't so kind in the arena. He took me seriously. That's true. Thanks for not giving me a handicap. I'm going back to my camp. Visit me if you want. Women. Here's your praise. I need to get back to my business. Thanks. Hello. Audrey, where are you? Audrey, where are you? Oi, Witcher! Out in these wastelands, hunting monsters? Well, if you see two of my men, tell them I'll rip them both brand new assholes if they miss muster. What are they doing there? It's a common malady. A day don't go by that some dimwit don't sneak out of the camp to go to the gullies. We'll see if I come across anyone. Luck be with you. You're a good fellow. Ah, find them and you'll see Corporal Zivik knows how to be grateful. Well, it was here yesterday. Greetings, Geralt. Greetings, Vess. What news from the Blue Stripes? They're keeping their eyes open, as always.
Could Henselt himself be behind the assassinations? You don't think it's possible? Consider the Pontar Valley. Temeria, Kedwin and Edurn have been disputing it for generations. Only now, Temeria and Edurn are kingless. True. Henselt might profit from the deaths of Foltest and Demaven, but covert assassinations aren't his style. I suppose you're right. The Kedweni king seems to love a good war. Just take a look around. Perhaps that's his ruse. When the cheese goes missing from the larder, no one thinks of blaming the cat. We've lost the assassin's trail. The trail led us here. If it goes no further, the assassins must be in the vicinity. I see two possibilities. Either Hensort hired them, or he's their next target. We'll find out soon enough. Hensort thinks he'll take Fergan easily. A regular army will always win against a popular uprising. I know this, Hensort knows it. I don't understand why Saskia doesn't. Maybe she'd rather die than surrender. Or she has a surprise in store for Henselt. Possibly. Henselt keeps the precise plans of his campaign a secret. Why haven't you set up in the Kedweni camp? Information becomes more available the closer you get to the source. Henselt doesn't trust us and I don't blame him. If not for this damn fog, we'd have moved even further south. I wanted to thank you. That was a great fight. The only great fights are those I win. It's no dishonor to lose to a mutant created for swordsmanship. If it wasn't a tournament but a battle, we wouldn't be speaking now. You were better than all the knights of Ketwin put together. You're very kind. I'm sincere. A rare trait. Perhaps I should take advantage of this opportunity. Hmm. Since we're being honest, I'd like to have some wine with you. With pleasure. I wasn't expecting you to agree. This was your chance to get back at me. I have no need. In truth, I'm grateful to you. Interesting. I was sure you'd go easy on me. Then I'd have told you to bugger off. But since you took me seriously, I have some Tucson wine in my tent. Could I tempt you? Lead the way. I learned more about you from that duel than from all our conversations put together. I'm curious. According to Geralt of Rivia, what is Vess like? She's ambitious, honorable, and beautiful. In that order? What if I say the reverse? If you think I don't like to hear compliments about my beauty, you're very wrong. I'm a soldier, and it pisses me off when I'm viewed as a pair of tits atop an ass. But I'm also a woman, and like every woman, I have my needs. In that case, let's drink to your needs. I fulfill my needs differently. Then what do you want to drink to? To us. I didn't know there was an us. Better to live a day as a king than a life as a beggar. First we'll drink the wine, then we'll go to bed. Can we do it the other way round? He was slaughtering pigs at the time, so he takes a pig's eye and puts it between his... He does what? Puts a pig's eye... Here to spy on us. Who would I be spying for? For Henselt. The Death Mold. It just so happens we have common aims. But don't worry, observing Vernon Roach isn't one of them. In that case, to what do I owe this pleasure? What news of good old Flotsam? Thanks to us, it still is good old Temerian Flotsam. If I hadn't sniffed out Lorido's treachery, a Kedweni garrison would be stationed there already. Constable John Natalis has appointed a new commandant to Flotsam. Let's hope he doesn't turn out to be another whore. You miss your old friend, Yorvith? If the gods are kind, he'll yet fall into my hands. That said, I wonder what the scoundrel's up to. You need to be careful. 
Death Mold can't learn that you're holding a Kedweni spy. He won't. Don't you worry, though. Death Mold has an excellent net of his own spies. That spy we caught at Laredo's, Arnold. He's prancing around in the next world. Why did you kill him? What else was I to do? On the boat, you said he was living proof of Henselt's conspiracy against Temeria. I didn't plan it. He just didn't survive the interrogation. Maybe you shouldn't have keelhauled him. If he'd been cooperative, I wouldn't have had to. Did he spill anything interesting? He was tough, but waterboarding can be incredibly effective. Eventually, he coughed up that Henselt was trying to bring the border towns to a boil. Henselt's not stupid. He wouldn't want to wage war on two fronts. That rat Lurido was supposed to stir unrest in Flotsam. Luckily, you rearranged his intestines with your blade. Any idea what's happening on the other side of the Battle of Spectres? Well, I expect not much has changed. A bunch of dwarves, elves, and peasants are trying to figure out how to save Edern. Saskia is an exceptional woman. But just a woman, nonetheless. Besides, how would you know? Just a hunch, and there's all the talk. Besides, to assemble an army of elves, dwarves, and humans who fight side by side, you pretty much have to be extraordinary. You'll not persuade me some woman will defeat Henselt in battle. You're forgetting one thing. Kedwin's just fighting for a better life. Edern's fighting for life itself. Motivation's important, I grant you. But it can't trump knowledge of the art of war. Temeria's my only concern. And I'll be glad to see Henselt's forces tied up here. That's a good thing. Think he wouldn't stop after conquering Edern? What if he quickly deals with Saskia and turns his army west? It's possible, but I hope it won't come to that. I was wondering what you're actually doing here, Vernon. The Blue Stripes never want for work, especially in a hotbed like this. You're not about to tell me, are you? And here I thought we had something special. I've got my finger on the pulse, and I've not forgotten what I came here for, Geralt. Voltest's assassin. Precisely. He's holed up like a rat, and he'll meet a rat's end. How are things, Vernon? Quiet. Nothing to talk about, really. Like everybody else, I'm waiting to see how events unfold. Why not stop waiting and try setting something in motion? My people are combing the area for Letho, who seems to have vanished. There's nothing else I can do. What are you up to? Busy as ever. I need to lift the fog of specters, reverse Sabrina's curse, and find out who's behind the plot to assassinate Henselt. I never thought I'd see you so eager to help Henselt. Coincidence. Our interests happen to have aligned. Hmm. What interest might you have in tracking down this plot? I get the feeling it's all linked. If I can't get to the bottom of this plot, I'll be unable to lift the curse and never recover my past. In any case, I wonder who's behind it. Well, I know where the plotters meet. If you want to learn more, come with me. That would be a grave error. A captain of the Temerian army shouldn't meddle in the domestic matters of another state. I thought that's exactly what they pay you to do. Sorry, Geralt. This time I truly cannot help. The elder and the recruiter enter, and the mother says, Son, they've come to take you to war. And he's standing with his back to them, his pants down. He spreads his cheeks and says, I can see that. Did they take him? No chance. Close the distance. In the face of possible disaster, they try to drop down the higher bit. my front, let the cavalry run them over. Maybe a The battle was on. Terrible losses on the left Keep flank. They up. almost That's broke her right. Yeah. Their swords dropped their Finn! Keep dropping your guard like that and they'll beat your kisser to a pulp! Yeah. 
Who do we have here? Someone who's worried about your close combat skills. We practice a few hours every day. And here I thought practice makes perfect. Really? Care to show us your skill then? White-haired one. Why not? Who's willing? I'll try. See if you're as strong in your arms as you are in your gob. Let's see what my friend Vernon taught you. Make some room! Close the distance! Listen, they picked up the bows and shot at the enemy. I tell you, each shot meant a dead man. Those were some tongue like with Exactly. Close the distance! Got a feeling Fen won't remember much of that fight. With a few more surprises up our sleeves. How about you? Why not? Who's willing? Take me on. I fancy learning a few witcher's tricks. Let's see what my friend... Make some ru... Close the distance! Guard up. That's more like it. Ha! He's still young. He'll learn. With a few more surprises up us. Why not? Run out of monsters to slay. Why are you fighting my men? Just checking to see if you've taught them well. And? I'm amazed they're still standing. You lackeys! Letting yourselves get thrown around like hay bales. Maybe you want to give me a try. Show me what you got, my striped friend. You win. Feels like I've been kicked by a mare. Pleasure getting a few slugs in the mug from you, Witcher. We're always eager to learn. You deserve a prize. I don't need a reward. It's no reward, just a sign of gratitude. We drag our asses round the world and collect all sorts of scrap metal. Take something. May it serve you well. See you soon. Not so fast, Witcher. You'll take me on now. You snitch. So be it. What the bloody hell's all this about? We're just practicing. Want practice? I'll have you cleaning the canteen with your bare asses. How's that for practice? Back to the camp! Aye, sir. That doesn't end this. Stop looking for square coins. You've little to gain, and you just might lose your head over it. So long. Want to practice some more? When the time comes. We got our orders and got busy preparing to leave the village. She comes up to him and... Soldier never...
And she says, you're back! What the hell? Hey, there are! And you don't mind? What? Well, well, a witcher. Girls, prim yourselves. How can I help you, handsome? I'm looking for a whore. We've got plenty of those, you'll be glad to hear. But you'll need to show me your coin before you choose one. We all have our... Well, these are my girls. Choose, white-haired one. Like hens on their eggs. Need some help, Monster Slayer? I want to talk, dog of war. I've heard much about your witch. Greetings, Captain. I heard you gained fame during the wars with Nilfgaard. Our fees have doubled since the Battle of Brenna. As it turns out, it was worth risking our necks. I knew one of your kind once woman by the name of Rayla, killed by an elf's treacherous arrow. She made a mistake. 
Let her emotions take control. This profession requires cold calculation. Must be fatiguing, fighting all the time. I took a little time off recently. Something along the lines of a honeymoon. But I like my craft. I'm not afraid to admit it. I wouldn't mind learning some details about Brenna from someone who played first fiddle there. Constable Natalis commanded the Nordlings. The Nilfgaardians mounted a vicious attack. And if not for us and the Dun Banner, the collected armies of the North probably would have shattered into bits. Luckily, we showed up at the right time, withstood the assault and came out victorious. We earned every last copper we were paid. 50,000 Nilfgaardians shattered their teeth trying to bite at us. Menno Kohorn, their commander-in-chief, chose death over humiliation. Like in every battle, it was a question of timing, taking advantage of the foe's missteps, and a bit of luck. Does Hensel pay his mercenaries well? Call it professional curiosity on my part. It's no secret a lump sum of 20,000 Novigrad crowns awaits. To be divvied up between those who survive. So the more of you die, the greater the take per head. Yes. Is Hensel paying you to wait? Curiosity itching you, Witcher. Not the best trait to have in wartime. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Death Mole's given us silver-plated weapons and protective amulets. On your advice, as I heard it, we're to observe the mist and, if need be, drive off the wraiths. Since you're already watching it, pay attention to the size of the cloud. I need to know if it's expanding. Well... How fast? It's almost imperceptible, but it's constant. A foot, perhaps two a day. What does that mean? It means I have to hurry. How many mercenaries you got watching the fog? I've got them spread out in small groups or on campfires. And how many we number? Well, that's my concern alone. Were you here three years ago during the last battle for Vergen? Bradley's Blue Banner was. They were decimated by mages. The survivors enlisted with us. They weren't eager to talk about it, and we didn't press them. No lack of work for your kind. Mercenary might just be the surest profession these days. Sign of the times. Let's talk arm wrestling. Go on. Bartholomew Bargy sends his regards. Bart Bargy? I remember him. Strong for a peasant. For a peasant. They say you're the strongest arm around here. You wouldn't be talking to me otherwise. How's that? During the Battle of Brenna, I got into a knife fight with an elf guardian commander. That's to say, he had the knife and I had my bare hands. I grabbed him by the wrist, but the blade kept coming towards my throat. He was strong. Relaxed stamina. When I felt him weaken, I twisted his arm around and slit his throat. I've worked on my hands, wrists, and arms since then. They all come in handy in my profession. Wanna wrestle me? To challenge Adam Pangret for the championship, you've gotta beat the best contenders. As you're a witcher and I'm a mercenary, neither of us should wrestle for free. Lucky that Nilfgaardian at Brenna wasn't as strong as you. Or Adam Pangret would be a heap of white bones right now. Lucky for you we were only playing for coin. I venture to say there's only one man who stands a chance against you. Numa. Numa? What kind of name is that? He's a circus artist. The mighty Numa, they call him. Apparently he grips like a vice. 
Word has it he cheats. How? Performance enhancing potions. The undetectable kind. I'll be sure to seek him out someday. You'd know best if he's using his muscles or alchemy. The whole camp's gone berserk looking for the coins. Grown lads with Where are these coins from if there wasn't a single one when they were... Smell a rat. Weirdo.